today's video is on spanning trees. So this topic is from graph theory and let's learn today what are these spanning trees. See here a subgraph T of a graph G is said to be a spanning tree if it follows the three conditions. First one, it should contain all the vertices of the graph G. So if graph G contains four vertices, definitely the spanning tree also should contain four vertices. So there is no change in the number of the vertices. And the next thing here is if the graph contains n vertices, see here, if the main graph contains n vertices, then the spanning tree should contain n minus 1 edges. For example, if there are two vertices here, there should be only one edge in the spanning tree. And see, the third thing is it should not form any loops or circuits or cycles. So, if all the three properties holds, then we say that the subgraph of this main graph G is called a spanning tree. See, first thing is it should contain all the vertices as per the main graph G. And the next one, if the main graph has n vertices, then definitely the spanning tree should contain n minus 1 edges. And it should not form any loops or circuits or um, cycles. See here. So, we have to follow these three properties and we have to frame these spanning trees. And here is an example. Find all the spanning trees of the graph. See, if you observe this graph, V1, V2, V3 and V4. So, how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And in our spanning tree also, it should contain 4 vertices. And the next thing here is, how many vertices are there here? n vertices so here n is equal to 4 vertices so here we have the vertices n is equal to 4 so in our spanning tree we should contain the edges see how many edges here n minus 1 edges so this is n minus 1 which is nothing but 4 minus 1 so we have to maintain 3 edges for each and every spanning tree see got it so we have to maintain all the four vertices and again in the spanning tree we have to maintain edges n minus 1 edges that is three edges for each and every spanning tree and it shouldn't contain any loops. We have to take care that it's not forming any circuits or loops and let's get started to draw these spanning trees. So in each and every case so there should be Definitely four vertices. One, two, three, four. So this is one, two, three, four. This is also one, two, three, four. And see, the next thing here is one, two, three, four. In each and every spanning tree, I am maintaining these four vertices. And now see here. So now I have to make three, three edges at each time. So here, first edge is one, two and three. See here, from this graph, this is, I'm taking 1, 2 and 3. There are no loops here. And the next one, I have to select 3. 1, 2 and this one is 3. Got it? So, 1, 2 and 3. I'm maintaining 3 edges. I am following all the vertices from the main graph G and there are no loops. So, in each and every case, see here, this is 1, 2 and 3. So in this case also the same thing happens. There are 4 vertices from the main graph and there are 3 edges. According to our formula we have we have to maintain 3 edges and there are no loops at all. And the next one here is this is 1 edge, 2 and 3. So here also there are no edges here. And next one, 1, this is 2 and this one is 3. So I am maintaining 3 edges without making any loops. This is 1 2 and 3 and the next thing here is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 and here this is 1 2 and 3 so in each and every tree so this is the main graph so this is the main graph g and these are all the subgraphs so these are all the subgraphs and they are following the same properties as they are maintaining four vertices so in each and every case we have four vertices v1 v2 this is v3 and this is v4 in all these graphs we are having four vertices and three edges and there are no loops or circuits or cycles so these are spanning trees of this main graph g so this is how you have to maintain the spanning tree and the next thing is 
talking about the minimum spanning tree. So, coming to minimum spanning tree, see here. Next, we have to follow this one. So, if there is a weighted graph here, see for example, if there are four vertices, that is V1, V2, V3 and V4. See here, this is V1, this is V2, this is V3 and this is V4 and it is a weighted graph. See here, it is a 7, this one is 5, this one is 2 and this one is 3. If it's a weight, weighted graph, first we have to draw all the subgraphs. So, how to draw these subgraph? Just now I said that they should be same vertices as from the main graph G. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 four vertices so this is also one two three four and here also this is one two three four one two three four so we have to maintain all the four vertices from the main graph g and these are the subgraphs and the next one here how many vertices are there so here the vertices are n is equal to four and now in the subgraph we have to maintain the edges n minus one that is 4 minus 1. So, we have to maintain 3 edges for each and every subtree. So, in this case, see here, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So, there are no loops or cycles. So, this is 1, 2 and 3. And the next thing here is this is 1, 2 and 3 and this is 1, 2 and 3. So, these are all the spanning trees. So, among these spanning tree, we have to find out what is the minimum spanning tree. So, as it is a weighted graph, see here for this edge from the main graph, so the weight here is 7. So, for this edge, so this is 3 and for this edge, it is 2. And see... For this edge, it is a 7 and for this edge, this is 5 and for this edge, it is 2. And see here, for this edge, it is 7. So, this is 3 and this is 5. And see here, for this edge, it is 3. This is 5 and this one is 2. So, we have to make a total among these. So, this is 9 plus 3. So, the value here is 12. And see, this is 12 plus 2. So, the value here is 14. So, this one is 10 plus 5. So, this value is 15. And this is 5 plus 1. 5 plus 5, this value is 10. So, all these are spanning trees. And among all these spanning trees, so which one is minimum? So, this one is minimum. So, this is nothing but. So, see here, this is nothing but the minimum spanning tree. So, this is the minimum spanning tree got it are you clear on this topic see here it's very easy first of all we have to find out the main graph and from the main graph how many vertices are there the spanning tree also should maintain all the vertices and the next one if there are n vertices in the main graph so we have to maintain n minus 1 edges in the spanning tree and it shouldn't form any loops so these are all the spanning trees so, for example, if I take this one to show you how to find out the minimum spanning tree. So, this is the spanning tree among all these and this is also so simple. So, um, there is a problem here. So, every time it is very difficult to find out all the subtrees or some spanning trees and among these we have to check what is the minimum spanning tree. So, for this inconvenience there are so many algorithms to find out the spanning trees one is Krushkal's algorithm and the next one is prism's algorithm i'll be posting how to solve the minimum spanning tree uh, according to those uh, algorithms and keep in touch and definitely it will be very helpful hope you all guys understand thank you so much for watching and staying till, till the end